Good afternoon, Philippines, for the special coverage of UAP Season 70 Live and exclusive from the Ninoy Aquino Stadium. Here on Studio 23, it is Championship Saturday, and our main event is Game 2 of the Juniors Finals between De La Salle Zabel Junior Archers against the defending champions, the Ateneo Blue Eaglets. That is our featured match on our Saturday blockbuster right after the incredible finals between the women's division between the Ateneo and the UP Fighting Maroons. For ABS-CBN Sports, I'm Boob Gonzalez together with Coach Mark Molina. And just when you think it's only in the seniors that they're going crazy about Ateneo and LaSalle, we have game two for this matchup with game one going to LaSalle. And Mark, you consider that as an upset. Definitely, since Ateneo was a number one team in the elimination round and they beat LaSalle twice in the elimination stunt. And both of them were convincing wins, a double-digit uh, advantage by Ateneo yes. in both those victories. Uh, but LaSalle surprising Ateneo, maybe Ateneo losing a bit a bit of steam after sweeping the first round of the eliminations in the UAP Juniors Division. They lost a bit, they lost to UP and then they lost to NG in the Final Four and now to LaSalle. So are they uh, maybe losing, uh, did they peak too soon? That could be a question here for the Ateneo Blue Eaglets. Well, just like the Seniors Division, the Juniors division are always cliffhangers when it comes to Ateneo and LaSalle and that game number one, only two points separating both teams. That's true and that was, this has also come from behind win by yes. LaSalle. They were down by uh, I think seven or eight points in the fourth quarter and field goal shooting. Ateneo 38, LaSalle only 31%, rebounds 46 all. And then, but the big number in that game, uh, Boom, was in fast play yes. points when LaSalle outscored Ateneo 25 to 12. And it's not shown in your screens also, free throw shooting in that game. LaSalle 35 out of 45, Ateneo 16 out of 22 only, so 19 more made free throws for Ateneo in that ball game. And that's, uh, as we always say, when it comes to close games, always makes a difference. Now let's focus our attention to the 2007, no sorry, 2005 champions. Of course, they took a break last year talking about De La Salle Sabel, and the load was carried very much by uh, the much talked about David Webb. Well, David Webb, Two years ago, mm -hmm. 2005, he was already a starter exactly. as a sophomore for this team. And Webb with 17 points, 9 rebounds, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. All-around player. He is a fantastic athlete, this guy. Not much of a shooter, but he loves to play inside. He can penetrate uh, at will. Reminds me very much of uh, of Jason Webb, by uh -huh. his uncle, when he used to play. And, and speaking of shooting, Mark, this is something that he was sharpening in the offseason, he concentrated a lot on his three-point shooting, so that's something that he's still developing. And remember, we are in the juniors division. He's got a whole future ahead of him. Now, when we shift our attention to the Ateneo Blue Eaglets, last year's champions, they're going for back-to-back. -back. Well, you talked about maybe losing a little bit of steam towards the end, losing one game in the Final Four, and then losing game number one, losing also against UP. And the attention on Noami Johnson and JB Dumrique, not delivering the usual numbers in that game number one. Well, those numbers tell a lot though, for uh, for Ateneo. These two guys are very key for the Blue Eagles because they are the two leaders. They are the two veterans in this team, especially Dumrique. Dumrique uh, played also in last year's uh, champion exactly. team, and they both struggled in game one. Nine points each for these two guys. You, Ateneo needs these two people to be in double figures if they want to extend this, this series into another game. And they want these guys to be leading the break also for Ateneo, which apparently they were not able to do in game number one. The streaky Ateneo Blue Why Eaglets the and the De La Salzabel looking for the upset win today. Let's go to our marker for our starting fives. Junior finals of your season 70 UAAP. Let's meet the starters for the squad trying to win their second junior crown in three years, the De La Salle Sabel Junior Archers. At guard number seven, Jarek Fortuna. Guard number 12, Maxi Okubo. Center number 15, Michael Pardo. At forward number 18, Arky Gold. And at forward number 10, Joshua Webb. And coach of the junior archers, Boris Alvarez. And now, trying to extend this into a rubber match. Here are the defending junior champions, Ateneo Blue Eagles. 
And guard number eight, Ice Reds. Guard number 12, JV Dumbrique. Center number 17, Frank Golia. At forward number seven, Ivan Enriquez. And at forward number 18, Wami Johnson. Head coach of the Blue Eagles, Shamai Karin. The officials for this ball game. Coach Shamai, Coach Morris up against each other. It would have been interesting, obviously, if uh, LaSalle was here last year. No disrespect, of course, to the baby Damaral's uh, last year. But uh, the champions of 2005 and the champions of 2006 meet in this year's finals with Ateneo losing game number one. And again, just like their seniors team, trying to extend their lives here in the UAB. Well, essentially, this is like a twice to beat advantage now yes. for the for La Salle Zobel. And uh, that was the same advantage the Green Archers had before last Thursday's game in the seniors division, of course. First foul is called. Eight seconds wasted All number 12, so far here in the first quarter. And it was Miguel Okubo called for his first personal foul. 76-74 was the score in game number one. You, did you get to Mark see those games against UP where Ateneo lost and then, of course, the twice to beat advantage that they had against NU and then losing that one too? I saw, I saw part of that final four game. The key always for Ateneo the whole season is their three-point shooting. They love to take a lot of three-pointers. The offense starts from the guard line. And that's why we mentioned Chongson and Dunwick are very important because the offense uh, emanates from these two guys. And then off the bench, they have some good shooters also, notably A. Banal, uh, the, yes, the, the yes. son of uh, Coach Joel Banal, and also Kiefer Ravenna off the bench. So a lot of their points come from the perimeter. And uh, if LaSalle can hold their point, the Ateneo guards at, uh, at bay, LaSalle will have a chance to duplicate that game. What yeah, yeah, did you see in terms of the difference between this team that made it to the finals this year and the team that had, you know, guys like uh, Michael Bow last year? This team, I believe, is, back Austria, this team, I believe is more talented. This is a very deep and talented Ateneo team. Okay. But last year's, the difference between last year's team and this year's team in Ateneo, last year they had a lot of experience. Okay. Bakon Austria, Mike Yombo, uh, guys like Palmaceda, and the others were all seniors last year. And they all, they've all graduated. This team, the core of this team, there is only one senior who is starting for this team, and that's Golia. Uh -huh. Dublique and Johnson are both juniors. Ice Leyes is a sophomore. Yes. And then if you go further down the bench, some of their bench scholars like Bugali oh, yeah. and, 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 and uh, Banal are, are only sophomores. Yeah. In fact, Keeper Ravenna is only a freshman. Exactly, rookie last year. And I, have, I, I cannot remember the last time I had oh, oh, the first year high school student in starting their, in their team. Oh. And not just in their team, but uh, playing as a stuff in the drive. Sometimes, yeah, there, there are games that he did right. start for Ateneo. And that is also, I believe, the advantage of Lazal Sobel. Okay. This is a more experienced team. We're talking about uh, Josh Loveb, who won a UAB title two years ago. He's, he is a fourth-year uh, high school player. Some of these guys here, like Fortuna, are also more experienced. Yes. And also Okubo. And then uh, off the bench, you have Buckley and Mangela. So these guys are more experienced compared to their Ateneo counterparts. But what about the absence last year? Did, would that affect them? Or, well, obviously, they're here in the finals. Probably not that much. Well, even though they did not play in the UAB, I'm sure Coach Boris Aguirre and the, the South team joined other tournaments, maybe not as competitive as the UAB. But, you know, uh, they were, they were not idle for one year. I mean, were, well, the same can be said of their college team. That is uh, Michael Okubo making the long two. Joshua Webb was the first guy to score for De La Salle. Another foul in the white shirts of De La Salle Zabel on Championship Saturday. That's what we have here at the Ino Aquino Stadium. Lady Eagles taking it from the... Lady Maroons 2-0 earlier, just uh, oh, a thriller of a game. What a game. Usual. Heartbreaker actually yes, for the Maroons. Yes. They had a three-point lead, but suddenly a maze of turnovers by UP towards the end game. Speaking of turnovers, Joshua Webb forcing that one. 4-3 to three is a count, 8-0-3 to play in the first quarter. We are glad to have you with us 
on the Saturday Blockbuster. And yes, we are live on Studio 23. Lasalle trying to end it today. They're trying to get their second title in three years. And Kubo again. This time he rims that one out. Jokson surveying the field. 14 on the shot clock. Dublique easily punctures the hole. And that's what he loves to do, Dublique. This guy is a complete offensive player. Yes. He has a three-point shot. He can penetrate. And as, as he showed in that uh, instance, he has a very accurate pull-up jumper. He's a little shot from, from oh, last yes. year, Mark. And he's a little bit of a Nice play for Zobel. Unable to produce anything from that sequence, though. And Dubrique now. Ball taken, almost taken away, and a foul. Will be called. And that will be on Archie Gould. That is his third personal already. That will force the hand of Coach Boris. On your screens right now. Where's your brother? Elonde will check now, check in for the sound. This guy, he's a good shooter, uh, Elonde, who I believe is the grandson of uh, the great, the great Flash Elonde. On a pedigree in this basketball game as Dominique misses that one, but it's tracked down by Ice Reyes. Jokson goes to his left, pulls up, short on that one. And De La Salle takes the recovery with under seven minutes to play in the first. Five to four is the score on Deneo Ayer. They go down. Joshua, that's a traveling infraction. Good defense by Ateneo collapsing that time on Joshua Webb. And they are looking to attack right away. Reyes goes into traffic, tries to get his own loose ball. Dominguez sends it over. This is Chonsung for the three. And that's over and back. Six twenty-four to play. These two schools again. Be looking to battle each other out tomorrow, the seniors division for the right to be UE waiting in the finals. And Ravenna is now in the ball game in a useless foul as coach Mike tells uh, his rookie, Make he kill You know, UE assistant coach Bong Ravenna had a conversation with okay. him one time. He told me when he was this age that he was basically a stallless keeper. Oh. And he grew on my third year, fourth year high school. Now if that if the same thing happens to this guy Kiefer Lavena, watch out. This guy will be a superstar, not just in high school, but also in college. I wouldn't be surprised if he surpasses Spong even with how kids are growing these days. That's true. Okubo sidestepping. Beautifully done and draws the foul from Frank Golia. First personal for the big man. He's starting center for the Blue Eaglets. Who are looking to defend their finals or their championship. But they'll have to win two in a row against De La Salle's Abel Jr. Archers. Right now they're in the lead, 5-4. I'll be back in a moment. Well, you were talking about uh, the proud father of Kiefer Ravenna. Paul Ravenna, the prou uh, proud father of Ice Reyes, Coach John Reyes. On hand here at the Nino Aquino Stadium. A lot of familiar names uh, in this ball game. Manal is also there. Uh, Tim Camacho, the son of Eli Camacho, yes. is also here with Ateneo. And of course, uh, the son of Glenn Camacho, uh -huh. Dwayne who just checked in, plays for LaSalle. Together with Colin Buckley, who has now come on for De La Salle Zabel. 
Boyce on the gill, changing his uh, front line here. Tommy Johnson comes back to the ball game. Tied at five with 5.40 to play, and Buckley claims his first rebound of the game. They send it over to Elorte. Bell now switching their five and a foul by Enrique of Ateneo. Coach Jamaica on your screens did a wonderful job last year. Did they sweep the They swept the elimination round. But they lost game one of the finals to FU Fern. And then came back to win twice. Same comments I know about uh, last year's team and this year in the sense that they probably picked too soon and all that. But they proved the critics wrong and won two in a row against a gutsy FEU Fern team who has lost a lot of their uh, players. Pretty much, pretty much everyone uh, from that uh, team that went to the finals uh, graduated. And a lot of them play college ball. Brian Mangera. Coach Glenn Capasso of the senior team. What a wonderful job he has uh, done this year for FEU, regardless of them getting uh, obviously not entering the Final Four territory. 15 on the 24 of the junior archers. Buckley sets the road the roadblock, which leads to Marco Fortuna's three. And this guy is probably the most important player for La Salle, Marco Fortuna. When he plays well, the, the junior archers usually win their games. And it gives a lot, it takes a lot of pressure off Joshua Webb to try to operate inside and slash inside. Anyway, Buckley just creating so much space in that screen, Mark. Well, he, he is trying to take the place of uh, Simon Atkins, yes, uh, who yes. played for La Salle two years ago. Obviously, he's not the same oh, athlete Simon was, and uh, you know, Simon really ran that team like an MVP, but uh, he's a very smart player and he can also hit that outside shot and also a good a good assist man. Albugarin, that's uh, Colin Buckley on your screens. The wide body for De La Salle Zabel. Albugarin short on that one and Buckley, second rebound of the game. Albugarin. Drives, left-handed finish, beautifully done. Andrea Manguera. Andrea Manguera. I'm very impressed with this guy, Manguera. Doesn't get as much playing time as the other wingmen of La Salle, but his athleticism and shooting ability makes him a very effective player. Another foul by the big man of De La Salle Sabel. The rebounding Kevin Gamboa. Ball on number eight. Second personal foul, as you look at this wonderful move. Splits the double team, and then the finish with the left hand. Dismantling that defense all on his own, and now it is a five-point lead for the junior archers. Any relation to Mike? The Martin, brother of Mike. Brother of Mike. Yes. Brother of Mike Gamboa. I believe he was already with the team last, last year. year. But uh, obviously not as, not oh. as used as Mike. Al Bugarin getting away. Al Bugarin. That's the, the reason, offensive rebound. That's the reason why they call this guy Baby Shaq. Uh -huh. Only a second year high school student. Buckley, oh, nice touch pass. And Della Salvamel installing another four point lead. 13 to 9 at the four minute mark of the first quarter. Benna gets it back, Kiefer sends it to Tiongson. Tiongson, nowhere to go. Fouled again, and they're racking up the personal fouls and the team fouls. Well, it's probably Coach Jamai Kavin saw the stat line the last yeah. time out, and uh, LaSalle really outscored them from the free throw line. What about this finish by Matthew Capasho? And this guy, he was the key guy the last time out, the Capasho. 16 points and 10 rebounds. Exactly. So he complimented the 17 and 9 that Joshua had, Joshua Webb. What about the 8 out of 11 free throws that Cabasso shot 
in that game. May, may pinagmama na. Salzabel <laughs> 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 well, entering their attack zone. Webb was momentarily open. But Capasso gets that pass. He overcooks that one. Gamboa tracks down the loose ball. Johnson looking ahead. Wami sets it up. A three-point shot from the corner. And that's something he loves to do. A banal. Against, I, I cannot forget this kid because against F.U. Fern in the first round, he made seven out of ten three-pointers. Wow. Lorde zigzagging, trying to get it to Capasso. It will still be LaSalle ball with 13 seconds remaining. Coach Jamaik contesting that one. Miguel Locubo is back in the fray for De La Salle Zabel. A lot of the parents here at the Nino Aquino Stadium watching, and I'm sure a lot of the relatives watching live on Studio 23. But now we'll go back to that quarter. Doesn't force the issue. Go back to Chongson with 16 on their 24. Settle down. They want to go back to Banal. Same spot. This time it's short. And Webb well, lets it bounce out. And at the 2 minute 50 mark of our first quarter, we are now tied. A second deadlock of the ball game. Coach uh, Jamaik looking to extend the lives of the defending champions. We'll be back in a bit. A lot of the families, a lot of the parents, and of course a lot of the kids, the younger brothers, all the supporters and schoolmates and friends are here at the Nino Aquino Stadium in attendance on hand. And it's nice to see a different demographic, a different crowd, but I'm sure a lot of them also get to watch the seniors games. But now, of course, they are at the front line of the juniors division as we look at the map show. Well, Fortuna, we mentioned this ability to hit the, from the outside and also 7.4 assists per game wow. and then uh, Johnson excellent matchup here at point guard between these two uh, guys Nico Elorde getting the three point play opportunity at the 234 mark Frank Goya set to come back in for the Blue Eagles champions of 2005 their first ever championship in the UAV talk about the guys from Tavelle Last year's champion claiming their 15th juniors title, I think, last year. Meantime, a missed shot by Ateneo. 14 on the 24. The three hoisted. Joshua Webb putting it back, but not getting it to go. But we saw there the explosive yes. uh, leaping ability of Joshua Webb. You know, around four or five years ago, Mark, this kid used to play against older guys. And when we say older guys, like me and a lot of my friends, his dad would ask, you know, Joshua to be included in the games, right. like pickup games in the uh, villages. And that's where you learn. <laughs> exactly. And at that time, you know, all he did was like defend, pass the ball. He couldn't really shoot against you know, older guys because they were always, we were always like muscling him out. A couple of times he was my teammate too, although he was already taller than me. I would love to see you try to muscle him out uh, today. Five years ago, I think I could. <laughs> now he, all he has to do is stare at me and I say, nah, it's okay. Pero alam mo, malaking bagay yung mga ganun, ano? Yung, yung, yung oh, yes. Yung, yung pinilalaro sa mga... Yung mga that's that's the, essentially where everyone starts. Yung uh, mababatak, sabi nga nila, yes. right? And if you wanna talk street lingo, you look at uh, Colin Buckley on your screens. 16 to 13, 50. Kaya ngayon, when, you play, when he plays against kids his age, you see in his face the supreme confidence. I've played against bigger, I've played against older players before. And you see him exude that. And 
the last two years that he has played in the UAP this year and in 2005. Plus, it doesn't hurt that he's naturally athletic. Yes. Just and, like his grandfather. And the, and the genes. That's right. Tawag sa pungas si Senator ganine. Sabi niya, boom, he's not my nephew, he's my grandson. Sabi ko, Senator, I was just being polite. And a three, hoist it again. My El Banal. Two triples. And the lead, again, or the deadlock, again at 16. Three on three on the other side. What a fight by Johnson, but a block by Okubo. Maguera trying to execute the spin, and he forced that one. Great coverage by Kevin Gamboa on the spin cycle move. El Banal. In the 13 wins, he averaged 9.7 points. In the three losses, he averaged only 2.3 points. And today, he already has six on two three balls. And that's already an improvement from last week's number when he shot one out of eight from three-point uh, territory. So now two three-pointers already for Banal. Good up to David Webb. Get up. Gets inside again. You can see how this guy can be so ambidextrous when he is on the fly. Left or right, he can finish beautifully. Johnson lets it fly. Gets it to go. And the three-point shooting of Ateneo, Mark. You mentioned this in the pregame. This is key for them. That is their weapon. All of their perimeter players can hit from the outside. And so far, they've had three. One from Chong Son and two from Banal. So far, LaSalle with only one. That's courtesy of Marco Fortuna. And LaSalle still playing zone. How long will Coach Boris Aldeguer stick to the zone defense with the way Ateneo is shooting the three ball for three ball? 19-18, though, is the score. Another three by Banal. Puts it up and in. Nine points for El Banal. That will now make you rethink your strategy. 22-18 is our score. Switch, Fortuna against Conrique. Commands the double team. Capasso makes it hard for himself. Could have counted, but that will do it for the first quarter of our ball game. And the story is the three-point shooting. Four triples by Ateneo, three of them from El Banal, three out of four from that area for nine points and a four-point lead for the defending champions, Ateneo Blue Eaglets. Back in a moment. at the Dino Aquino Stadium for Ateneo versus Osal, the rivalry extending in the juniors division and not just that, we are in the finals. Game number two for ABS-CBN Sports, Boot Gonzalez, Coach Mark Molina, and straight from the Dino Aquino Stadium, live on Studio 23, El Banal nailing three out of four triples in the first quarter and Mark when Banal scores two, at least two triples in a game for Ateneo, the Blue Eaglets are 8-0. and old. Wow, that's a, that's a stat <laughs> that Jamaica Rin would love <laughs> to have again in today's game. Fortuna fumbling it, but recovering. They go down to Joshua. Against a triple team, he finds a way at his second traveling attraction of the game. Uh, Joshua there forced the issue that time, uh, two defenders already on him. Ateneo on the attack again, the squeeze play Wabi by Wabi Johnson. Gives them a six point lead, the biggest lead for the Eaglets, 24-18. We 
Kuzmenev back to Fortuna. Ongeno will try his hand at a three. Nothing there. The tap going to Ateneo. Chongson will track it down. Banal waiting on his left side, but Chongson says, I'll take it. Chongson. And this run extends here in the second quarter, Mark. Couple of baskets here for Chongson. The middle game, very important for yes. all guards to have yes. that pull up jumper. And we're seeing uh, Wami Chongson do that a couple of times now. Remember us talking about it as we see oh, Joshua oh, Webb with yeah. a sensational move to the hole. Talking about it last year, we did a lot of juniors games, Mark, last year in season 69. And I remember us talking about how it is a dying right. art now, the in-between game, the medium-range jumper. Everybody trying to either become a great triple shooter or a great inside player. That's the, and it, it doesn't have to be a jumper. It can also be a floater or a runner. Yes, yes. Uh, a, la, a la Tony Parker. Yes. And, you know, so many guys have, have shown the effectiveness of that, even on the local scene. You, you go back to Mac Cardona when it was oh, doing yes. L.A. Tenorio had a lot. Mac Escalona last That's year true. had a lot of teardrops. Nobody probably did that better than, uh, than Mac Cardona. Cardona. Yep. In fact, for Cardona, it was not an in-between game because he would take it from 15 exactly. to 18 feet. <laughs> and the most awkward of shots, too. 26-20 is our score. The last 17 points of Ateneo were scored by both Banal and Tiongson. 17 points of that 26. Johnson, one of the guys that we focused on earlier on. As Okubo settles for this one, nothing. Ateneo looking to run. This is Ravenna. Ravenna flying and drawing the foul from Marco Fortuna. And the foul problems of La Salle extends here to the second quarter. This is a common theme in the last three games of these two teams. Ateneo, towards end of the first, start of the second, would take a lead. The main difference was, during the elimination round, that lead ballooned to over 20 points in both games. Okay. Last time out, Ateneo got, I think at the, the, the biggest was about a 10 or 12 point uh, lead for Ateneo. So when La Salle made that fourth quarter run, they were able to overtake the Blue Eagles. Keeper Ravenna, son of Bong Ravenna, his wife. Uh, nakakasama natin Mosi. sa coverages ng uh, UAP Volleyball, si Mosi Ravenna, celebrating a birthday today. today. Today, that's what we heard. We see her also in the seniors games during the UE Red Warriors, supporting, of course, her husband. I was kidding uh, Coach Bong Ravenna after the elimination round. I told him that all teams with the Ravenna have not yet lost so far this season. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Of course, that was before Atene lost to UP, the juniors division. <laughs> oh, yeah, hesitating, block. Webb making that happen. Okubo now accelerating, and then spinning and dishing it off. Rodriguez. And Webb again with the springs. Best sticking it back. The lead down to five. 720 to play. Rodriguez out to Ravenna. Bobbles it and commits a traveling infraction. Twenty-seven twenty-two is the score. So you think Mark this Ateneo uh, Blue Eagles team is, is Oh there's Bossy Ravenna. Celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, by the way, I was asking you, do you think that this Blue Eagles team is deeper than last year? You believe it is? They are more talented. More talented. And I okay. and I say more talented. I'm basing it on the number of seniors prospects that you can have on this team. Okay. Last year's team, I thought it was basically Mike Gamboa and Paco Nostria. Yeah. Yes. Now, we can argue that Dubuique was also, with, also played for last year's team, but this is a better Dubuique. But if you look at this team, Banal is a sophomore, and if he shoots this way, I think he can play in the seniors division. Ravenna will also do that, and also this guy, Bugavin. This is, they are bigger this season and more well-rounded. Last year was everything was guard oriented. In okay. fact, Papat Austria, who is comfortable playing in the perimeter, yes, yes. had to play pretty much inside yes. for last year's team. So essentially, I, I think this is a more talented than the Felix Rodriguez 
Getting his first bucket of the game. Another three by Banal. Rattles out. But the offensive rebound by Ateneo. Abubo handing it over to Fortuna. Fortuna for the in-between jumper. Dialacio on a 10-1 run in the last two minutes to take the lead. 28-27, our fifth lead change of the game. Excellent inside-out dribble by Fortuna. Pleasing the defender that time. Banal inside. And a foul and a bump. As Enrique, Enriquez rather, was making his move. That is Pardo. Called for the foul. Michael Pardo, let's look at this. Fortuna against two. Hesitates and then says, I'll pull up. And rattles it home to give them a 28-27 lead and a 10-1 run in the last couple of minutes. Back in a moment. Back here at the Nino Aquino Stadium, of course, which is Felicitas Francisco. The UAP board, the host of the 70th season of your UAP. Mr. Palu, of course, with us on hand as this season winds down. You know, probably one of the most dramatic seasons we've ever seen, and an extended season as we look at Father Zasagan, of course, joining us here. Uh, probably, probably on hand later for the awarding if Masal pulls this off. But what a season it has been. Um, an extended season well, and a dramatic season, Mark. Five Adeneo Lasalas. We will, have, we will have the fifth tomorrow. I said in the pre-game of game number four, eh, parang making up for not oh, playing last year. <laughs> and the amazing four, thing, uh, yeah, boom, I've seen so many at the Nail Lasal games course. ever since uh, Lasal joined the UAP in 1986. Uh, I don't think there has been a year where in the two teams at the Nail Lasal are as equally matched oh, yeah, as they are right now. And those, just to pri uh, prop the uh, game tomorrow, four games were separated by three points, two points, and two one point ball games. All oh, certified class. Oh, I won't be surprised if we go to overtime. I wouldn't mind because I'm not calling the game. I'll be watching like a spectator. 29 28, and I'm sure Sam wouldn't mind that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nico and Sam extends the lead. Actually gets the lead back. 30 to 29. 5 20 to play. This is for all the marbles. For the juniors division, especially for LaSalle, they win today. And they bag it all. And they get their second crown in three years while at Ateneo. It's a win or go home situation for the defending champions. Dubrique forces this one. And is forced into an error. So there has not been an answer to the LaSalle run. The biggest lead was eight. For Ateneo, the biggest for LaSalle was five. Three deadlocks, seven lead changes. It sounds so familiar. <laughs> oh, Buckley creating space for himself, but just gonna get it to climb up. Third personal on him, too. Junior Archers. 40 to play, 30 to 29. Dominique hands it over to Banal. Now they're sticking closely to Banal, but Johnson was free for a three. Misses. And Enriquez again getting the offensive rebound. Just taking it away. And now LaSalle playing better perimeter defense here on the three point shooters of Ateneo. Although they're still playing zone, 
The recognition is better now for La Salle. 4.23 to play. Ian Enriquez is starting forward. As Colin Buckley sits down for the junior archers, Matthew Capasso comes back in for Zabel. Enriquez, so far today, his second point. But with four rebounds to lead, Ateneo, together with Frank Goya, the starting big for the Blue Eagles. Coach Jamaica is adjusting here. Trying to experiment a bit with four guards, practically four oh, guards in the lineup. With uh, Banal, Ravenna, Dubrique, and Ice Reyes. So the only one legitimate big man here. And Ice Reyes is here by Malini to defend against uh, David, Webb. David Webb because Webb has a harder time playing against a smaller defender who is as quick as him. If you put a bigger defender on Webb, but it's not, but it's slower, he won again. Oh, that's a nice move. Just could not finish. Webb takes it back. Again, another floater. He was short to that attempt. Dubrique looks ahead. Dubrique goes for it. And he comes up short. Last field goal of Ateneo was 9.04 in the second quarter. Those were the two points of jumps on the mid-range jumper. They haven't found the range in the second. We are tied at 30. Elorde finds Webb. And Webb did not cook it well. But we'll go to the line for two free throws. And La Salas run that well, the pick and roll uh, play. They have time and again found either uh, Buckley or, Jace or Joshua Webb. And it has been Elorde making it happen also. He is averaging 5.2 uh, points a game today, already with six on three of five shooting. And Joshua Webb, six points also, three of five shooting. Now, with nine rebounds, Mark. He's not scoring as much, although you can argue that six is not bad. Nine rebounds. And of those nine rebounds, three offensive. So Rebel, he has already matched his nine rebound total in game one, and we're only in the second quarter. Makes his first free throw. He is averaging pretty much that number at 8.7 rebounds a game. So that's an average right there. 3.30 to play in the first half. Junior's division is what we're looking at right now as Ian Enriquez was blocked, denied. Webb trying to lead the break. A poorly executed fast break, yet they get a consolation prize. And Mangueva telling Webb uh, that he was free on the right side but we're trying to make sure you know these are things that they will learn along the way unless we experience a third personal foul in FIFA Novena these kids you know in the process of learning in the junior division will eventually get their timing when to give up that ball Jeffrey when you're a kid sometimes you 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 so eager to make things happen for yourself or your teammates. That's why those numbers that we saw, 18 turnovers for La Salle, 20 for Ateneo in game one, that is not bad. Yeah, normal for a high school yeah. game. In the college, that, that makes a bit tricky. But it's not uh, it's regular to see 25 turnovers, 26 yeah, turnovers in the junior game. Ravenna. How about that game, uh, the, the game number four of Ateneo La Salle with Ateneo, 26 turnovers, and still pulling off the win. Now that's a bad, bad number for for them, for the seniors to division. So that it is blocked by Manguera, I believe. Manguera, of course, part of that front line of BLSU that has scored 20 front court points to Ateneo's five. Only. So they are being outmuscled inside, and this is why you pointed out the three-point shooting of Ateneo really has to click. That has kept them in this ball game. Yes. If not for that, La Salle probably with a double-digit advantage already, but the thing is, very important inside points here for Ateneo. They don't have a lot of that. Baby hook connects. The lead has come down to two, 34, 32. Norte. Directing traffic goes inside, and then the touch pass to Mangueta, who returns the favor on the other end. 
Coach Jamike is livid at his boys. We all need this timeout. 2.37 to play. Let's look at this baby hook by Ian Enriquez to cut the lead down to two. We'll be back. On sale to the Lino Yakino. General admission tickets for tomorrow's game again still available at the Lino Stadium, the Pelasals of L Junior Archers looking to finish off the arch rivals here in the Juniors Division. Welcome to Championship Saturday, where the frenzy is happening despite the uh, bad weather. I think it's single number it one, Metro it Manila. That's true. Well, we're happy to have you with us. And for those of you watching us live on Studio 23, for ABS CBN Sports, Group Gonzalez and Coach Mark Molina. That was some Maguera missing. Up the corner. It is a 34-32 now. Out to Banal. All day to shoot. Short on that one. And Webb comes away with his seventh defensive rebound and 10 overall. Okubo well, will try the three. That's misfire. Get the weakest. That release of Okubo is very similar to Martin Reyes. Oh, that's true. Almaceda inside the three-point oh, area. Who, by the way, Martin Reyes is here. Yeah, he was part of that yeah. last uh, championship. Last all, Zobel champion team in 2005. I mean, that included things the asses in Simon Aguilar. And still playing, of course, Dave Webb. Elorte, long three. Beyond area post. 11 3 bound of Webb taken away, but Masal with possession. 34, all a minute to 34 remaining. They go inside, but the Rodriguez takes it away. Breaks up the play. Dubrique goes inside to their baby Zan, puts it up and in! Plus a foul on Capasho. So lead now will swing back to Atene. I said this about Dubrique last year. Sometimes when he's bringing down the ball, you think he's not looking at anybody else. Alam mo yung nakatingin sa baba, but his peripheral vision is working even if he's looking at the floor. And the strength of Al Pugarin, able to put that Al shot Bugarin. up and in. Oh, that kid looks familiar to me, Mark. On your screen. Oh, yes. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I thought it was direct Al Neri. <laughs> but no, we're talking about second generation here in terms of uh, the players. And second generation generation photographer director. and director. <laughs> Ateneo now countering with a 7-0 run in the last two minutes. Ayun naman, a proud father. 37-34 <laughs> to try to snatch that lead back. And a misfired three. Johnson, Banal. Oh, he's blocked. But he gets the ball back. Sets up Bugarin. Bugarin is deflected. And Fortuna tracks down the loose ball. 50 seconds remaining in the first half. And it is a nip and tuck of there here at the Nino Aquino Stadium. Oh, Kubo is fouled by Bugarin. Ang hirap talaga at depensa ng kaliwete. Kasi napaka That's true. off yung timing pag nag take off talaga. Unorthodox eh. Yes. Oh, Kubo did a good job there taking it long. Taking the defense to the big man. Because that's the, way, that's the only way you can uh, get a foul from somebody bigger. 37-34 was our score. It's Coach Jamaica. The defensive instructions. 43 seconds remaining here. And eight lead changes. Five deadlocks. The second half is just going to get crazy. May make us out of friends here to the Juniors Division. It's just a little frenzier. The kids coming out today, Saturday. Happy to have you with us live here on Studio 28. Yongsun, Balmaceda. 
have 12 on their shot clock. Johnson sets up Banal. Banal was blocked earlier. He moves closer, puts up the beat, the great shot. That's off. Lazar looking for the last shot here, Mark. 17 seconds, but maybe not the uh, shot clock. Last shot that may be the lead here. Well, Kubo puts up the three, that's short, and it's over and back. And the nail will have a chance with six seconds remaining. That shot came too early for, for Lazar. Almaceda again, that's short. And that will do it for our first half. No surprise. For the Ateneo. Ateneo is ahead only by one. That's the, the not surprise there, that it's only a one point ball game and a pendulum swinging game in the juniors division. Now for your championship Saturday. We'll be back to break down this ball game. Stay with us, please.
anuman ang ating usapan. May kakabit po, sir. We'll call you back. Thank you. Anuman ang ating kasunduan. Online na po kayo, sir. Uy, salamat. Tawag lang po kayo anytime pag may kailangan pa kayo. Ano man ang aming pangako, gagawin namin ang lahat matupad lang ito. Ganyan ang servisyong Globe. May isang salita. Globe. Abot mo ang mundo. Deposits and loans to investments, cash management, and insurance will energize your life. RCBC. Excellence, that is our passion. We do it with innovation. Do it with energy. Do it. Do it with RCBC. Member, PDIC and Bagnet. Coach Jamaik of the Ateneo Blue Eaglets hoping to extend this series to a game number three to the well to be able to defend the title that they got in 2006. Coach Boris looking to end it all today and get their second of third uh, second title in three years. It is Ateneo versus La Salle here in the juniors division game number two. For ABS CBN Sports, Boom Gonzalez, Mark Molina. 37-36 is our score, one point separating both teams. A, a game that has been characterized by runs, Mark. That's the well, very close uh, game so far. Ateneo took that early initiative behind the three-point shooting of uh, Banal and uh, Chokson. Yes. But LaSalle was able to, to counter with a 10-1 to run in the second quarter, uh, led by Joshua Webb and Manguera and also for uh, The inside points of De La Salle has just overwhelmed the outside shooting, which, as you pointed out, has kept Ateneo in this ball game. Let's look at some numbers uh, for both teams. Very close here, numbers, uh, field goal percentage-wise, 35% uh, for LaSalle, 34 for Ateneo. Rebound advantage for LaSalle, but only by one. Assist to Ateneo, blocks uh, slightly here for LaSalle. Eight turnovers also for LaSalle, Ateneo with 10. So we can see, based on the statistics, that this game is very close because not any team has really showed dominance in any department so far. Well, dominance is uh, the name of the game for uh, David Webb of the De La Salle Zabel Jr. Archers. Joshua, so far, with 12 rebounds already, eight defensive, together with 10 points, he has been the man carrying this team inside, while it is Wami Johnson on the other end of the stick for Ateneo has uh, shot three out of seven from the field, three out of four from the free throw line for 10 points. Well, uh, as you mentioned, Boom, it's inside versus outside. Inside meaning Joshua Webb with a double-double already. And then for Ateneo, Chongson, the starting guard with 10 points and Banal with nine points all on three pointers. If you uh, are not here at the Nino Aquino Stadium, you just missed a bunch of uh, La Salle kids <laughs> taunting well, teasing the Ateneo Blue Playfully. Babble Battalion, Playfully. of course, of course. These are kids. You know, just, uh, it's so entertaining at halftime here in the Juniors Division. And they've all come out today, Saturday, as we now enter the third quarter. And it is on the way. DLSZ Junior Archers and ADMU Blue Eaglets. And 
And uh, they start off with Frank Goya, Bobby Johnson, Jamie Dubrique, El Banal, and Al Bugarin. A different starting five for Ateneo here in the second half. Well, yeah, he was a forgotten man for Ateneo in that Three. first half. 17 points in game one together with eight rebounds. Uh -huh. Golia was scoreless in the first 20 minutes. Second triple hoisted by DLSZ, and that is both courtesy of Marco Fortuna. Webb on the run, slips and slides and loses the possession. Dubrique again finds Johnson. They go to the other side, and then inside to Bucarin, who is blocked by Michael Pardo. This is Moore saving the play, and it will be a oh, jump ball. Oh, that's that's now on the Dallas South. Dallas South. So the junior LSC Archers. Junior Archers. Shot clock, 18 seconds. 39-37. And it is Fortuna, the lone man who has been able to find the range from the outside. When I talk about the outside, I'm talking about the triple area, but Okubo, Miguel, seven points. A lot of them are medium range jumpers. That's true. He doesn't take a lot of three pointers, but uh, very accurate from about 18 feet, uh, this guy Okubo. Webb comes away with his 13th rebound. Lead is four for Lasal. Oh, nice hesitation move, and then Webb unable to finish the play. Johnson will wait for more backup. Sends it over to Banal. Banal is blocked and fouled. And that will be the fourth foul fourth on uh, Archie 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 He will be replaced, by the way, by Brian Manguera, who is, by the way, joined by Michael Fortuna, Miguel Ocubo, David Webb. And I'm missing out on some. Oh, Michael Martin, their center. Yongson commanding the double team. They switch it over to the other side. Banal throws up another three. That's short. He has missed his last three triple attempts. After starting oh, out very hot, uh, Banal, I think he made the three out of his first four attempts. Ivan Enriquez for Frank Golia. Ivan Enriquez now will step in for Frank Golia. Zero out of one, zero points, 17 points in the first game on seven out of nine shooting. Game number one in a loss against their arch rivals. Yellow Kubo. Fortuna for another three. Gets it to go! That is his third triple of the ball game. And the third triple for Della Salsabel. All courtesy of Marco Fortuna, who is averaging a very high 35% from beyond the arc, and this was way out, Mark. And he can feel it. The minute he, re he released that ball, he <laughs> knew it was going to go in. 44-37, we'll be back. Stay with us, please. Banner for Fortuna is there. Fortuna for three pa. <laughs> Fortuna for three pa. And he has 11 points, three out of five shooting from beyond the arc. And a 10 0 run extending to the tail end of the first half. Am I correct, Mark? That's true. It was 37 34 with about a minute left uh, before halftime. Now it is 44-37 for DLSG. Jeff Mangana handing it off to Michael Pablo, trapped underneath, loses possession. And it is Banal who comes away with it. Banal, four on three, slips and slides and puts it up and in. First quarter, Banal was three out of four. Before that shot, he was zero out of four. Now all in all, he is four out of eight at 50% shooting. Look at that. Technical foul will be called on Ateneo. Delay? Or delaying the game. They were warned earlier. It was Ivan Enriquez this time, the culprit. Something that Michael Arnold. Let's see, Coach Jemaik, although he moves, Al Bugarin out of the lineup. It's back to Boa. 
that, that was called on Ivan Enriquez. Yes. And Fortuna misses the free throw after making three triples. Oh, this is two. Ayano Malapitan. Miguel Okubo will do the honors for DLSZ. The champions of 2005, their first juniors champion crown. And that's why I give a lot of credit to Coach Boris Aldeguer. He has transformed this program. La Salzobel, not really a title contender consistently in the UAP, but now the last couple of years that they've played, they've made it to the finals. And that is with their absence for last year. They make it back to the finals. That's right. That in itself is already an achievement. Yes. And losing three key players at that. Atkins, the Asus, and Reyes. And Reyes. Diba? Tapos di sila naglaro last year. And yet, they're back in the finals with a 1-0 lead over the defending champs. There's got to be something said about that team. As Fortuna finally misses on his heat check. But it is Camacho who sticks it back in. Give credit to Manguera who kept that ball alive uh, by tapping that, tapping it to Gwyneth Camacho. 46-39. Deneo has only scored two points, courtesy of Banal here in the second half. Gamboa inside to Ivan, puts it up and in. Ivan. That was excellent high-low basketball that time by Ateneo, with Gamboa finding Enriquez underneath. Kubo against Banal. And a turnover, and a foul on a junior oh, archer. Well, That's Miguel. Called for his second personal foul. Elorde coming back in, Nico Elorde. This is that high low play, saved by Ivan Enriquez. It is 46 41. Send it back. Dumrique puts up the three, that's short. Enriquez battles for it. Last touch. Uh, Last touch by Ateneo. The De La Salle Bell crowd spilling over the court already. High school kids ready to celebrate today. We have a younger crowd today oh, compared, yes. compared to the usual crowd we have here for the UAB games. Yes. And I believe the crowd that was spilling over onto the court is being sent back inside. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the proper thing to do. <laughs> but it's such a sight to behold, though. The <laughs> enthusiasm talaga that to na kino control ng ating uh, presidente na si Miss Felicita, Felicita Francisco. Championship Saturday, folks, uh, live on Studio 23 from the Nino Aquino Stadium. This is Ravenna sending that baby home. Again, the three-pointer is the major weapon here for Ateneo. They have five so far in this game. Boy, they, they needed that three, didn't they? Capasso again on a hit inside. Seven points for Matthew Capasso. A foul away from the ball. Coach Boris, again, let's look at this play. Capasso spinning around and able to hit underneath to give them a four-point lead. Biggest lead for DLSC was seven at 44-37. But since then, Ateneo has inched closer. Coming it down to four at the halfway point of our third quarter. Again, if Lasalle wins, Get this championship for the defending champions of the day. Now looking to win two in a row. Enriquez to Banal. Banal thought about it. Ah, that's an offensive foul. That's great defense on Pico Elorte. And that's something uh, Banal will need to work on in the later years. Uh, the ball handling for him to be a more effective uh, player here. He definitely can shoot. Second personal foul for El Banal. 
Mabasha this time from the outside. It's way short. Ravenna taking it away, speeding his way to the other end, and then eluding everybody else with a ball break. What a play. That is not something any first-year high school student can do. He gets the rebound on the other end, gets away from two defenders, looks to pass, and then goes back to the move, backs it off. To cut the lead down to two, Keeper Ravenna. 48-46 for DLSC. We'll be back. Back here at the Nino Aquino Stadium. A uh, chance from the Ateneo crowd as they trail De La Salle, Isabel by two. Possession going to the white in green. 4.18 to play in the third quarter. Fortuna has hit three triples, two of them here in the third, and that's a foul by Ivan Enriquez. Good thing by Matthew Cabasso, who has come on to score seven points last game. 16 points, 10 rebounds for Matthew Cabasso. And once again, the pick and roll uh, play, giving some dividends here for the archers. But it's been quite a while now since uh, we, we saw Webb with the ball uh, down low. Now, it is Tim Capasso coming in for Ateneo. It is Matthew Capasso shooting the free throws. These were the kids that I was talking about earlier. They were, they're armed today. <laughs> With arrows, huh? Yep. Neat. Ready. The junior archers take their rolls to the hill. a lane violation on automatic ball possession for Ateneo. First half for Matthew Capasha, three points in the third quarter. He has already five for the eight-point equivalent. Sidestepping, Wami Johnson makes it look easy. That's his favorite yes. shot. From about 10, 12 feet is deadly. Lorde hounded by Kiefer Ravenna. The pick set by Webb does not materialize though. They have 10 on their 24. Fortuna looking for the roadblock. He goes to the other side and puts it up. And this fires. Miguel Okubo is getting ready to come back in. So what's the call? So we call a foul on the rebound play on Johnson. Oh, okay. So it will still be LaSalle ball with a one-point lead. And then with the Ateneo over the limit, Joshua Webb will go to the line. And Webb is racking up the rebound with 13 so far. David Joshua Webb makes the first. That area, he is a 73% shooter. He, today, he is five out of five. Those are the numbers on your screen. For David Joshua Webb. And he has improved that stroke uh, a lot, uh, Joshua Webb. Ayun yeah, guys, yung sabi siya, season tres naman ang tinatrabaho niya. Sumona, itong lasal niya yun, Mark. Lubrique. At the Yongson, 10 on their 24. Dubrico with a left handed finish. Nothing there. A 14th rebound by Joshua Webb. Fortuna. Back to Nico El Orte. Nice play. To go back to Joshua. Joshua and he kisses it off the glass. Joshua Webb will have the advantage against uh, Kevin Yokoa. He stares it down. <laughs> Ravenna will try a three. Gets it to go! Boy, did he build a cup on that one. What about this kid, Ravenna? Eight points in the quarter already. Nine all in all, two triples. And they set up Camacho again. 
Well, two line and Lotem making things happen here for LaSalle offensively. They are creating the shots for their big men, John Gouet and uh, Wayne Tabasho. Let's look at that. Confident, cold-blooded three by Ravenna to cut the lead down to two. 53-51, but Matthew Capasho, the third quarter has been huge for DLSG. Four, 51 is our score. And for Matthew Capasso, that is six points here in the quarter. Make that seven. So it's Capasso for La Salle and Ravenna for Ateneo here in the third quarter. Tim Capasso moves out of the game for Ateneo. And also Kevin Gamboa, Al Bugarin coming in and Ais Reyes. Colin Buckley is back to man that zone for DLFC. Who are up by four. And looking to finish it off today. Ravenna again this time. Too much muscle behind it. Ateneo saving the possession. And it is Wami Johnson on the scramble play. Bumped and fouled by Colin Buckley. And I believe that will be his fourth. So that's going to be a short stint for him. Not even, not even a, a minute here yes. for Buckley, so Bardo will have to check back in. Bobby so Johnson on goal. Oh, free throws, as you see Michael Bardo on the screen for placing Colin Buckley. And for Tiongson, who averages the most minutes for Atenea, 25. He is a shade under 67% from that area. Two out of two on that trip. He has played well today, 14 oh, yeah. points already. The guy who is missing is JV Dumrique. Not a lot of uh, mileage so far here for Dumrique. Although Manal and then have uh, kind of like filled up. Dumrique has lacked in this game. Miko Elorde again, surveying the field. Almost a travel, yes. The transgression called on the white and green. 55-53, a minute and 45 to play. Short rest. For Kiefer Ravenna, Ice Reyes moves out. Situation on substitution, substitution probably. That's right. Both teams have 13 turnovers, which is not so bad, right, Mark? As Wabi Johnson gets the lead back for Ateneo. They have slowly come back in this game. The 10th lead change on Wabi Johnson's second triple. And it's the inside out, inside game here for LaSalle. Wayne Camacho stepping up in the absence of uh, Joshua Webb here. But the perimeter game of Ateneo has kept them in the game. Lead back to LaSalle, the 11th lead change. That is turnover number 14 for the LSC. And now 57 56, minute 10 remaining. Johnson with 17 points. Five out of nine from the field, two out of four from the three point area, three out of five from the two point area. Pukarin draws the foul for Parker. That power dribble. You can see LaSalle's zone uh, extending out because of Tineo with three point three three pointers, three three point shooters in the game. In that situation with Ravenna, Chongson, and Banal. And that's the number of threes that they've had in this quarter too from Keeper Ravenna and the latest one from Wami Chongson as Al Bugarin. Able to knock down the free throw. Same average as Tiong Son at 66.7 from the line. This guy is huge, Mark. Huge. And he's not the awkward uh, looking guy. He's mobile. Yes. He has a bounce to his step. As a new guy is coming out for Ateneo. That's Agnelia Portadera. Lorde, able to get into their attack zone. Fortuna for another three. That's short, he has missed now. 
After he knocked down a couple earlier, Okubo will try his end, and he sends that baby home. Offensive rebounding again here for LaSalle. Okay, usually, you always get a wide open three point <laughs> after an offensive rebound. That's true. And the lead back to LaSalle, 60 58. This is how it's going to be, folks, until the end of this game. Banal will try again. Bang! He has struggled since he knocked out three out of four. He is one out of four from then on, but knocks that one down for two out of five. 25% shooting from De La Salle. Last it five seconds. That's right. Vigo Elorde forces it up and puts it down. A sensational way to end the third quarter, Mark. What the final minute of that quarter back and forth we go. This is just like the seniors game between these two schools. Exactly what I've been saying. It is Vigo Elorde with the up and under and forced shot and still finding the mark with exactly no time left. Eight points for him on four out of eight shooting. And LaSalle is back in the driver's seat, 62-61. 62-61 is our score. Third quarter is done, and the final minute of the third quarter. Both teams racking up the points, and here's an interesting thing to find out, Mark. Ateneo has not won the fourth quarter in terms of number of points against LaSalle this season. Only in terms of the fourth quarter. That's true, in the, the, the first two games, Ateneo was up by a wide margin, entering the fourth, and LaSalle came back in, that, uh, in game one. LaSalle also was down by, I think, eight or nine points heading to the fourth quarter. And LaSalle pulled it off with a two-point win. Today, LaSalle grabbing the lead with that last uh, last shot by uh, Elorde. And Okubo will miss this one. Another offensive rebound by Capasso. And a jump ball, but this time, again, the possession arrow pointing to De La Salle Zobel, who are looking to close out the Blue Eaglets today here at the Nino Aquino Stadium. Three-point shooting, 25% for LaSalle, 40% for Ateneo. That's high, an 8 out of 20. Swing it over to Fortuna. Elorte from up top, puts it up and it's short. Another offensive, no, it's a defensive rebound. It's Johnson who doesn't see a football from behind. But Ice Reyes picks it up. Dumrique sends it over to Banal. Capasso on him. And LaSalle is back in that zone. Seven on the 24. Johnson with four has to put it up. That's short. Dubrika tracks down the loose ball. Fakes and is blocked by Webb. Got one, 21 seconds. <laughs> the uh, spectators getting into this game so much. The proud parents as the ball is taken away. But Elorde didn't see the pass coming from Okubo. He was running, but he wasn't looking at that time. And Okubo, Fortuna telling Okubo, give the ball to me, because it was Fortuna and Elorde yeah. uh, running in the, in the wings. 18 on the 24 of Ateneo, or behind by one. 62, 61. Go back to Dumrique for three. Still hasn't found the range today, and Webb comes away with his 15th rebound of the game. It's LaSalle's turn to try to score here in the fourth. Fortuna looking for the roadblock from Matthew Capasso. Elorte steps into that three-point area. It's oh, two. It. And he ends the third quarter, and he begins the fourth quarter with a connection. Once again, pick and roll basketball. Very basic uh, execution here by Coach Chaboli Saldiguel, but working wonders for LaSalle. Wami Chongson. And Wami Chongson now with 19 huge points for Ateneo. 
keeping them, keeping them rather with its slip sweep of La Salle. And that's a foul as Matthew Capasso has now really come on here in the second half from the inside. Something All on number that La Salle has dominated here in this game. One on Let's look at this play in. Nice big draw there. And a very mature looking shot yes. for Sally Johnson. And this guy will be back for one more year uh -huh. with the Blue Eaglets uh, next season. Of course, a lot of uh, Ateneo alumni and fans believe that this guy could be a future uh, point guard for the Blue Eaglets. Steve. Ateneo's nine fast break points to LaSalle's eight. And I point that out because earlier we were talking about uh, how Ateneo only came up with 12 and a huge number for LaSalle in game number one, 25 fast break points. And that was the difference yeah, in that ball game. It is 65-63. A missed free throw, but another offensive rebound for De La Salle and another foul. This time the foul will be on Ice Reyes. Well, number eight, Ice Reyes is second. So Weba goes Williams. back to the line and some uh, oh, words <laughs> being exchanged between Webb and Reyes. Two uh, proud basketball families. <laughs> I know where you're looking right now, Mark. <laughs> Warning on number 10, Joshua Webb. Uh, Joshua Webb was warned. Well, well, let's talk about the fourth quarter scoring in the three games that uh, these two teams met. DLSU 24 to 20 in the first round encounter. Although they didn't win that, obviously. Yes. Uh, second round 28 to 11 in the fourth quarter. Although Ateneo pulled off that one, but in game one where it mattered, game one of the finals, 22 to 15 in the fourth quarter, Ateneo lost that. Their first loss to their arch rivals who are ahead right now at 65, make that 66, 63. 7.30 to play. An encounter that is reminiscent of the seniors' games that we've had in season 70 of the UAAP. Jongson again! Jongson! What an effective shot uh, here by Wami Jongson. Keeping this Ateneo Blue Eaglets team, their heads above water as a Kubo misfires. Johnson. That was blocked. That was blocked by Ravenna. Oh, deflected Bala. Here comes Johnson. Setting up Banal for three. That's short. And the rebound scrambled by two LaSalle players. Ice Reyes is blocked. Goya tries to put it back. Still no go. Goya has been. What a nightmare of a ball game yeah. so far for Frank Goya. After scoring 17 oh, points 17, Golia, in game one. None today with four rebounds. Zero out of two from the field. Tiongson in the meantime has tied his career high with 21 points. Nine second chance points for the Sol, four for Ateneo. On 13 offensive rebounds for the LFC. Elorte left alone. And that's a foul by Buckley, and that's it for him. That was clear, unnecessary on the part of Colin Buckley Hola, to give up that eight, foul. Colin, Monty. Very Colin, short stints for him. Five fouls. So that Monty. will force the hand of Coach Boris Saldeguer to bring back Matthew Capasso, who has been playing so well here in the second half. This is the combination that has worked for, for Zubel, Capasso, and oh. Webb. Offensive foul call on Ice Reyes. The illegal pick. But Teneo still behind. 15 lead changes. And five deadlocks. Fortuna back to Elorne. Tries for a three. And that Teneo playing some, playing some box at one. I believe they're playing a box and one defense. Uh, number four. eight, Ice Reyes is for penalty. And back-to-back -back fouls on Ice Reyes. And again, Ateneo's over the limit with six minutes and, and 13 to play. Reyes. And Reyes moves out. And 
will be Tim Capasso checking in. And Bigger lineup now for, for Ateneo. Of course, they will suffer in terms of uh, quickness. But maybe Tim, Tim Capasso could be the answer in slowing down uh, the other Capasso. Tim is the son of Eli. Son of Eli, so and these then, two guys are first classes. Exactly. And Matthew, of course, the son of Coach Glenn. Bobby Kyongson and Kiefer Novena, the smalls for Ateneo. But now there's also there, he's playing way out. Novena thought about it. And then that teardrop, Kiefer which we have been Ravenna. talking about here in this game. We're seeing two guards here, Chongson and Ravenna, masterfully taking those uh, middle range shots uh, in this ballgame. 11 points for Keeper. Nice find, nice intention, bad execution for Lasal. He turned the ball over, and a chance again to snatch the lead for Ateneo. 68-67. Another three put up. Coach Mike. He did oh, not like that oh shot. Oh, yes. <laughs> he is so frustrated. Uh, it was too early in the shot clock for uh, Wami to take a shot like that. Uh, heat check, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wami Johnson. Fortuna forces that one, yes. Nice position. By Keeper Ravenna. Ravenna is uh, showing a lot of uh, maturity in terms of his offense and defensive uh, decisions, Mark. Well, this guy was playing in the grade school last season with uh, probably with uh, with SBP or yeah, something yeah. for those leagues. Banal trying to regain control. Then on their 24. Ice adjusting. Sorry, that's Keeper giving it up. Again, the last second decision by Keeper and Avena. What a look. Tim Capasso. What a look by Ravenna. And now the lead, the 16th lead change of the game. 69, 68, 440 remaining. Webb against Capasso. Webb likes that matchup, but he comes up short on the shot. Here comes Wabi Johnson now. One against four. They reset the table. They go inside to Tim. Ravenna thought about it to his left this time. Johnson puts it up. That's over Cook. On well, the offensive rebound by Frank Collier, but it's taken away by Matthew Capasso. Joshua Webb from 17. That's misfired by Webb. And now these two teams coming up with a little nerves here at the four-minute mark of our fourth quarter. LaSalle needs to be more patient uh, with their offense. Now, ben, uh, hey! Keeper Ravenna, the rookie for the Blue Eaglets. The son of Bob Ravenna puts it up and in and gives them breathing room at this very crucial juncture of the game. Keeper Ravenna, 14 points, three triples. And it is 72-68, back in a moment. DLSC crowd a little bit stunned right now with the performance of the freshman from the Blue Eaglets. His name, Kiefer Ravenna. And Ateneo is 6-1 this season when Ravenna scores 8 or more points in a game. Shooting 5 out of 8 from the field, 3 out of 5 from beyond the arc. Unbelievable performance <laughs> here for, for Ravenna, who's probably maybe 14 years old at the most. Banal on Fortuna. Matthew Capasso is checked on that move. Seven of the 24 of DLSC who are trying to win it all today. Fortuna puts it up and in! Oh! That is huge. A cold-blooded three ball. He is four out of eight from the field. Talking about Fortuna. The lead is one for Ateneo at the three minute five second mark. They go inside, Goya. Banal, his try on the three. Bang! Oh, what a game! <laughs> it's raining threes now. And boy, the K 
kids are answering the call, Mark. Hello, they thought about it. They go back to Joshua Webb. Capasso breaking up that move. Webb adjusting, puts it up, and will go to the line for two free throws. Excellent play here by Webb. He knows that there's no way Capasso can match up with him uh, along that perimeter, but uh, let's hope that Joshua is okay. It is 75 71. Two teams playing like their senior counterparts, just giving it all until the end. Five players in double figures for DLSZ. That's Webb, Capasso, Fortuna, Okubo, and Elorte. Look at this. It nice. is Banal who started off really waxing hot in this game. Yes, nice pass that time by Golia. They got the ball inside to Golia. Coach Joel Banal definitely liked that shot. 17 points for him. 14 for Avena and 21 for Wami Tiongson. And you can see the, the difference in the action between Joel Banal and Bong Avena. Si Bong cool lang, ano? Si Mozi ang hinggang hindi. Pinapabayaan na niya kasi si Mozi na mag-cheer. Ateneo looking to hang on. But we have a whole lot of basketball to play. And if you know in the seniors division when it's Ateneo Lasal, even a split second matters. The last game, Lasal was up by six points. Exactly. Less than two minutes. Kubo, but another rebound here by oh, Masho. The 14th offensive rebound for De La Salle Zabel. And that will send uh, Gwen Capasho back to the line. He has done some little things here, uh, Capasho, besides the scoring. He has kept some balls alive yeah. here for La Salle Zabel. Between or among Banal, Ravenna, and Tiongson, they have 10 triples. All of the 10. 10, 20, 10 out of 27 on Ateneo from beyond the arc at 37%. Banal has five of those. Ravenna has three. 25% Lamang on DLSZ. But, but I'm sure that's how this is in the game because they dominated the next side. Exactly. I was just about to say, I'm sure they have been making their money, so to speak, from offensive rebounds and inside points. Second chance points. Ravenna clears everybody away! Oh. You gotta be kidding me. This kid can't play. What a move. What a drive. In traffic. He knew where to squeeze himself in. 77-73. Okubo is deflected. And Ravenna tracks it down. Maintains the possession. Puts it up. Oh, what a move! Keeper Ravenna with a sensational drive to the rack. And he is playing like he's the most senior guy on this team. What a play by Ravenna, back-to-back -back penetration. Nine points in the fourth quarter, 18 all in all. The freshman outplaying and dismantling the DLSC defense. 79-73. Back here at the Nino Aquino Stadium, Ateneo looking to get a double victory today. Saturday, the women's division, of course, coming up with their second title in three years against the UP Lady Maroons and the Fighting Maroons talaga. And today, they're looking to extend this series to a game number three. But we have two minutes and ten seconds to remain. Still a lot of time. <laughs> oh, only a six-point lead. This was the same lead the senior archers had. Let's put things in perspective here for Keeper Navena, who has been a big, big man for Ateneo. He's got 18 points, 17 in the second half, 9 in that fourth quarter. That's amazing. That's amazing. Good drive here by Elorde to get to the foul line. You know, being a first-year college student, is so much different from being a first-year high school student. Okay. You've seen a lot of uh, guys, first-year college, who can excel and even become uh, uh, a, a, star a, right away. a superstar in, in their first years. But in high school, it's a totally different ball game. One year in high school makes a whole a big difference. And that's why it's insane <laughs> for a first-year high school student to take over a UAAP championship game 
the way Kiefer Lavin is doing right now. I, I get your point, and that's an excellent point because when you're in first year college, you already had your whole high school career exactly. behind you. Exactly. In the same manner that some rookies even become MVPs in exactly. the Pro League. Yes, that's right. But in high school, this is this is unheard of. He is unconscious right now. I don't even think he's he knows what's happening. That's why. Imagine if he becomes as tall as his father. Uh huh. Yep. 79-75. Lasaldo with a 1-0 advantage here in this series. And it is only a four-point lead with a minute and 44 to play. I just am surprised to see, Mark, that Ateneo actually now leads the points in the paint department. And this is probably because of the easy points and the fast break yes. opportunities. Yes. They have overtaken now at 32-24. Via penetration, and, but mostly from the guards. Yes. But a good stop for LaSalle. Oh, nice move by Fortuna. Now this guy has come up big also for oh, yeah. LaSalle. Malco Fortuna, and that will send him to the line with Ateneo over the limit. And this is where you want to be if you're De La Salle. Exactly. On the line, shooting free throws with a time stop as Ateneo now trying to hang tough. Coach Jamaik looking to defend the championship by extending this. Fortuna is two out of five from the line. This is just an appetizer for tomorrow's Ateneo La Salle game, which is practically for all the marbles too. For the right to meet UE, but for both schools going up against each other, as you see, some of the guys who played. Including Simon Atkins. Oh, and uh, Martin Reyes is there. You, you know it, Mark. From both schools, sometimes that's the only thing that matters, beating your arch rival. That's true, but this is all beating your arch rival and possibly winning a exactly. championship. I was talking about the tomorrow game. Oh, also. tomorrow. <laughs> but some, you have to be honest, some people really don't care about uh, whether we make it to the... Ah, uh, did we make it to the finals? That's an incidental... Ah, <laughs> uh, but we beat La Salle or we beat Ateneo. That's the important thing that's, for them. <laughs> but of course, for the teams, there is the bigger oh. mission, the bigger goal. Almost a turnover. Almost. The bigger goal, of course, for the teams is, of course, the championship. That's just the mga spectator's point of view. As Frank Golia, still no nothing from him here in game number two. And LaSalle is only down by three. And no, need, no need to take a three-pointer here for LaSalle. Go high percentage. And a three is taken, but not made. And Ravenna will draw the foul. It is 79-76. LaSalle not yet over the limit, so Ateneo will get ball possession. Timeout by Jamaica Rin here. And prayers are being said by the parents and the faithful followers of both schools. As we take this commercial break, we will be back. seconds remaining and the drama is not only confined to the seniors division here in the Nino Aquino Stadium nobody's sitting down anymore in game number two of the juniors finals on championship Saturday for ABS-CBN Sports Boom Gonzalez Mark Molina coach Mark Molina and it is our pleasure to be bringing this game live to you on Studio 23. No need to foul here if you're LaSalle one good oh. stop here and a steal by Capacho bad pass and free underneath is Go, and this is a one-point ball game with 24 seconds remaining. Crucial turnover for Ateneo. And that was that was almost an unforced turnover. Uh -huh. In fact, Capasso was uh, surprised. The ball was light in front of him. Let's look at that play again. Miscalculation by Dubrique, and here comes Matthew tracking him down, and then the lead pass 
to Archie Ko, who has not played so much today because of foul trouble. But the more important thing is he cuts the lead down to one with 24 seconds. Let's listen to Coach Jamaica. Well, Coach Jermaine saying no shot. Of course, uh, LaSalle is going to foul in this situation with only 24 seconds left in this game. And uh, the important thing here for Teneo is they have to get the ball to a good free throw shooter. My guess is probably Chongson, maybe Banal here. But it is the rookie who will the ball have out. the pressure of coming up with the most important thing in a situation like this, which is a good inbounds pass. Well, for, for what trust. That's true. What trust? Probably he doesn't understand pressure right now. You know how you're in a stage sometimes. This is a game you, for you. You are, you are too young. Exactly. You don't know what pressure is. And there's there's the, the foul given up on uh, Wami Chongson. Sabi nga natin, diba, at this stage, we've said it so Ice much. Fun. At this stage, Ravenna. as Chongson is five out of six from the line today, by the way. At this stage, it's either you you really know, you feel the pressure, you, 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 it, or you just don't understand the concept yet. 67% from the line, Chongson, for the season. And he is coming Six up big. out of seven. 22 points. He now surpasses his previous career high at 21. Even, even if Chongson makes, makes this, this yeah. it's a one possession game. In fact, we still have time. If you're LaSalle, not necessarily that you take a three-pointer here. If you can get something quick within five or six seconds, and then, pop, then you can go for a quick two also. But if you have an available three, then you have to take it also here if you're LaSalle. And they have a Kubo, Elorte, and Fortuna there as the smalls with Capasso and Webb. This will be it. The final play, 20 seconds, three-point lead. They go down to Capasho. Capasho kicks it out, and a foul was given up. Coach Jamaik again. Well, I was surprised. They, they got the ball down. inside to Capasho. I was surprised that Ateneo threw some health defense on Capasho and left Okubo open. Because Okubo could have taken a free point at that, at that point. But this is the last thing you want if you're Ateneo. A foul on Capasho. If he makes this, then back to one point. And Capasho uh, will set another Ateneo to the foul line. Capasho is 57% of that area today, 6 out of 10, 6 out of 11. Now, it becomes a problem. Yes, although, if he makes this, That's just a two they will lead. still force Atenea to make two free throws to put this uh, game into two possessions. And Capasho, he very importantly makes that ice shot, ice. and Ravenna will come back in. Now it's Dombrique will turn to throw the ball in and they will get it to Chongson. That's why LaSalle will. They have two guys now on uh, Chongson and they're not guarding the inbounder. They get it to Ravenna and foul. Fortuna needs to foul. The whole bench was telling him to foul. He wasted a few seconds there. And you're right. You have Ravenna on the line than Chongson. Although with the way Ravenna is playing. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Elorte will now march out of this game, Mark, with five personal fouls. It will be Wami Chongson back, revisiting a familiar area for him. 81-79, Ateneo's not yet out of the woods. They're looking to extend the series, and we would like to thank Studio 23 for the additional airtime being given us on the windup of game number two. On the finals for the juniors division. This makes it a three-point game. And he's been making shots like that the whole game long. Uh, Chong Son. A variety of uh, jumpers around the shaded lane. Seven points in the fourth quarter. There's Enough time for LaSalle to tie this game and send it into overtime. Fortuna kicks it out. 
A three, put up, and LaSalle ties this ball game. Two seconds remaining, Junction with a heave, and we are going into overtime. And our... I don't understand why they had to help on that driving play by Fortuna. They could have given Fortuna that layup, and they should have stayed home on Manquela. This but was uh, the help. This was the three. Chongson. That was Chongson. Chongson should have allowed that layup. Here's that last play. There's Chongson in the middle. Poor decision on the part of Chongson, although he, he has played a terrific game and Mangela was wide open. He never gave up that shot. And this guy was struggling in this game. Five points all in the first quarter. Nothing the rest of the way. And he nails a cold-blooded three to send it into OT. Mark, let's break this play down again for people who just tuned in. You can see here, the, a, a steal will be given by Webb. Fortuna will penetrate. You give that layup to Fortuna, but Chongson, with the help defense, leaves Mangiela wide open. Now, that is, a, that is the right defensive play in any situation, and I know that is a habit that uh, when you teach your kids, but uh, poor recognition that time with the part of Chongson. I'm really getting too old for this one. <laughs> I just said, I'm really getting too old for this. Three Ateneo La Salle games with the seniors, and this is, again, another classic for the juniors. So Ravenna missing for three. Golia has still struggled from the field on the stick back. He's zero out of four after scoring 17 points in game number one. And now, as we always say in Filipino, Buhay na naman ang mga taga-nasaan. Buhay na naman yung kanilang spirits because they were already stunned earlier. And Manguera, who could not get a three-pointer all game long, made it at the most important time. And this guy takes a jump shot. That was a nice uh, and that was shot. That was a line drive shot, yes. Mark. In overtime this season, Ateneo is zero out of one. Or 0 1, and DLSZ is 1 and 0. Simon Atkins enjoying this one, and they were both against NU. Yes. They are losing that one in, in, uh, during the final four. Yes. Webb misses on the second free throw. Dyongson tracks it down. Up, back and an over and back violation. That was a good one. Great defense. From the LSZ, who are in the lead, 83-82, and now Balmaceda steps in with JV Dubrique. Even in the juniors, you just cannot tell who's going to win between these two teams. It was this is uncanny. The, the same, the same thing has happened. <laughs> Six point lead also <laughs> heading to the final two minutes, but the teams were reversed. Yeah, I know. The shoes on the other foot. <laughs> Manguera, Okubo for three, rims out. And a rebound by Ivan Rodriguez. Keeper Ravenna now behind the back dribble. Sets up Ivan. Ivan puts it up and in. Back and forth we go on our 18th lead change of the ball game, Mark. Once again, nice pass coming from uh, Keeper Ravenna. 84 83 with under four minutes remaining. Manguera again overcooks this one. And Balmaceda tracks it down in a weak pass. A weak pass. But a foul will be called oh, okay. on Manguera. They got bailed out there. And that will send uh, Balmaceda to the line Team with both teams over the limit already. The very stocky Stu Balmaceda. Let's look at this setup job by Keeper Ravenna, has done everything for this team. Ivan Enriquez could only oblige. Get the lead back, 84, 83. You know those kids that I was talking about earlier, Mark? They're right behind the Ateneo bench now. <laughs> and the guards are taking them away. And these are like, what, seven, six, eight-year-old kids? 
What are you gonna do? <laughs> Even the cars don't know what they will do with the kids. Twenty, sorry, eighty-four, eighty-three. On a thriller of a ball game in the juniors division, but Maceda gives them a two-point lead. Three points for Stu Balmaceda. Everybody standing up here at the Nino Aquino Stadium Park. It's so entertaining to see. We get it back to Okubo. Webb providing the screen. They go downstairs. What a move by Brian Manguera. What a time for Manguera to come alive here. What a bass, Mark. What a find by Okubo. But you can see also the athleticism of this kid, uh, Manguera. Yeah. Ravenna looking to enter enemy territory. Tiongson, eight on the shot clock. Puts up a shot. I think there, Ivan is blocked from behind. But it is a fresh shot clock to work with for Ateneo. Actually at 23 right now. This, this could not be good news here for Ateneo. Chongson signaling to the bench. Possible case of hams here for Wami Chongson. And he has been the best player all game long here for Ateneo. 24 career points, 8 rebounds for Wami Tiongson. It's Albuquerin coming in. Enriquez again underneath. Nakawa. Foul we call the Capacho. You can say whatever you want to say about the errors in this game, the missed decisions and all that. But also on the other side of the spectrum, you can also see the incredible decision making and, yes. and composure of both teams. The, the, the outside shooting has yeah. been terrific, also. That is uh, some of the players, it's Mike Gamboa, having a chat with uh, Sunny Tadeo. <laughs> oh, she can't stand it anymore. I can't blame you, sweetie. It's, it's just how it is. That's, a, that's the experience of a lot of people who watch these games. Sometimes they're physically present, but they cover their eyes. <laughs> they don't want to see what's going on. Three minutes remaining and a slim Ateneo lead. 86-85. DLSZ hoping to knock this one down and take this one home. He is five out of nine talking about Fortuna. You've been talking about this guy. Five lead pointers already for Fortuna. And the 19th lead change of the ball game. 88, 86. Banal will try his hand. That is overcooked. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Will it be the last game for the defending champions? Or will they extend this to game number three? See how DLSC executes the last six seconds of their shot clock. They go down to Capasho, inside to Manguera, and the foul! And that may just be a crucial part of this game. Four-point game now, and Manguera once again coming to the forefront of this LaSalle attack. But what a nice look here oh, from yeah. Gwen Capasho. Nice pass to the athletic Manguera, and he will finish that slow. Dropping a dime to Brian Mangueta, who has 12 points, seven since the first quarter. He only had five in the first quarter, and seven here in the fourth and in overtime. And a four-point lead. But then, of course, there would be no overtime if not for this guy, exactly. uh, Mangueta, with 12 points in the game. What about two minutes and 11 seconds remaining still? When we said that earlier, <laughs> it's turned around for for LaSalle. And the other will be with LaSalle. Again! The breaks going in the way of De La Salle Sobel, who have six players now in double figures. That includes the latest addition, Brian Mungera, who sent this game into extra period. And if you're Ateneo, you cannot give up an offensive rebound off a mixed free throw. Never in the game, more so in this stage. Mangera again, a start. Wami Johnson is back for Ateneo. Capasso from 15, short again. And it will go back to Webb. Still no goal. Webb puts it up and in. 
Joshua Webb who has been silent for a very long time for the LSU. As he has beaten this small Ateneo lineup alive here in overtime. Only Bugavin, the only legitimate big man here for Ateneo. And Chong Son will... Is he fouling out? Yes. yes. The Chong Son will foul out. It is 92-86. The biggest lead of the ballgame for the LSU was at 7 at 44-37. For Ateneo, it was 8 at 26-18. So this is major distance at a crucial juncture of the game. Definitely, and how quickly things can change here. Now it's LaSalle's turn to be up by 6 points. Make that 7. Joshua Webb, 19 points. And I can't even understand anymore. 20 rebounds. Wow. 19 and 20. A monstrous performance for Joshua. Let's listen to Coach Mike. Shaft Denny. Stu. Keeper. A. Screen this guy. This, this area. There the man. Screen this. Keep you have that. But the A come out, Shaq seal. If you have that shot here, take it. Hey, we're going. L. But pick up hard on top. Let's go. De La Zal Zabel leading by seven. They match their biggest lead of the ball game at 93-86. The Blue Eaglets, who ended the elimination round at 13 and 1, losing only to UP, sputtered against NU in the final four, but recovering and winning to make it to the finals, losing game number one to DLSC. Ravenna out to Banal for three. Nothing there. And the 21st rebound of David Joshua Webb. Still a lot of time. Still a lot of time right in there. Trying to force a turnover here. Question here is morale. Yes. At this age, Mark. Especially when you almost had this game uh, locked up in the regulation. Nice pass. Tapasho. Unable to score, but again, offensive rebounds and a scramble for the loose ball. At this time, the possession arrow favoring the Blue Eaglets. Adrian needs to uh, go quicker now. Yes, and it's their turn to show some character and some comebacking ability, something that Lasal proved in the last minute 47 of this of the uh, regulation period. Ravenna will shoot the three, and he is fouled. And if you're Lasal, that's not what you want. You stop the time, and you give Ravenna a chance to cut into this cake. I told you, season 70. <laughs> So much drama. And it's not just the seniors division. Juniors we had and a, women's. We had a great game. Women's finals, Ateneo beating UP earlier. And now, overtime with Ateneo and LaSalle. But that game wasn't even decided to the last few seconds. They're talking about Ateneo and uh, UP earlier. 93-86, this freshman from Ateneo has played like a veteran, but he is a freshman he is still. still a freshman. No matter what you say, when you're in that zone, the free throw area, and even through the season, he is only a 58% shooter from that area. Well, maybe Regardless, because, though. Maybe because he doesn't attempt too much, and it's, it's hard to be a high percentage shooter if you don't take a lot of those uh, free throws. And regardless of that, 90 points, five rebounds, what he did in the fourth quarter, amazing. But the bigger picture now is they're behind by five. But a whole lot of ball and basketball. Yes. A minute and 15. Three on two on the other side. Capasso hesitated, but Webb recovering in the nick of time. Good break that time for La Salas. Capasso was about to turn the ball over. Now Ateneo needs to be, needs to score quickly here. 54 starter points for DLSC, and look at that kid again, just shrugging it off and keeping the heads above water. 
53 seconds, five point lead for DLSC, hoping to wrap it up today at the Nino Aquino Stadium. No need to foul, Fresenero, no need to foul. Fortuna with five on the shot clock. Capasha draws the double, and that's a traveling oh, yeah. violation. 35 seconds remaining. A lot of time wasted by La Salle on that possession mark. Now Ateneo needs to convert quickly once again. And when I say wasted, I mean productively wasted. Yes. That's Lapos what they down. want. Yep. So like two seconds left in the shot clock. With Fortuna travel, but Ateneo needs to attack with Ateneo. No Ami Johnson. Enrique hesitated on the three. And La Salle gets the rebound. The biggest game. Way, way off here at the finals. He doesn't have his confidence right now, uh, Jamie Dominique. Chongson carried Ateneo's offense yeah. the entire game with Dominique struggling, but with Chongson fouling out already and suffering from clamps. Yes. No more answers here for Ateneo, maybe well, except for Lavena, but uh, not a lot of help anymore. But if you want to put things in perspective, Mark, Dominique, 2 out of 13 in the game. That, that's our story. We have a. Uh, Chongson scoring over 20 points, 24 to the exact, and Ravenna scoring at 20. And this guy has been the most consistent archer today, uh, Boom. Yes. Fortuna. He has 21 points, 6 rebounds, and a couple of big shots, 4. Make that five triples. Ravenna again will try. Off the mark. A foul given up by Bungera. 14.1 seconds remaining. The season low of the game, actually. Mark. Well time for it to come. After struggling in game one, only nine points. But he will be back next year. Oh, yes. This guy, he's a, he's a terrific player, so expect more from uh, J.D. Dominic in the Juniors Division next year. This Lasalle crowd is ready to rock this Nino Aquino Stadium on a Saturday, Championship Saturday. Mike Gamboa, who experienced not only the finals, but a championship last year. His brother's still in the lineup. Shooting free throws. The lead is four with 14.1 seconds remaining. Mark, what would be the situation for Ateneo? Well, right now, you, you have to force a turnover. If you don't, then you need to foul. foul. And if LaSalle will make their free throws, then uh, they can put this game uh, beyond the beach of Ateneo. Jed, right, going here, right, going, going here, right, Mashi. Uh, Jed, David, Dwayne, right, and Jerry. Now, here. Where did I say backward? Where did I say backward? Right, here, right? Girl, Jed, if Jed has it, no. Jed has it, give it, right? But they're going to foul right away, just hold on to the ball. Jerry, come out. Now, wait. But we'll have a nice screen, David. David, get the ball. Right? Ninety-six, ninety-two, fourteen point one seconds remaining. Reminding you about tomorrow, 3 p.m. at the Araneta Coliseum. And if this is any indication, well, you don't even have to look at this game. Look at the previous four games of Ateneo yeah. Lasal. And this is just an appetizer for tomorrow. And with 10.7 seconds remaining, a foul given up now. And Lasal looking to pound the nail uh, into the coffin. Two proud schools, two proud institutions. Two great high school programs. Two great high school programs. Battling it out to the last second of this game. We are in overtime, by the way. And speaking of which, we would like to thank again Studio 23 for the additional airtime. Fortuna makes it a five point lead, and Coach Jamaica. He's in dire straits now.
Fortuna probably will put this game out of reach with that free throw. The rookie Ravenna. Four seconds remaining. Banal will put up the three, and even if this works, Lasal will take the championship away from the Ateneo Blue Eaglets, upsetting the Eaglets 2-0 in the final spot of the Juniors Division. Well, quite shockingly here, Ateneo was a top seed all season long here in the Juniors Division. They swept the first round, but Lasal. I thought experience was the factor. We mentioned this team, very talented, but not a lot of senior players. In fact, only Gualia is a senior. They will all be back next year, but experience was the factor today. As when in the end game, it was Lasalle who executed.